Hey guys, Phil here at Woods Tree Farm. I figured I'd spend a few minutes talking to you about the business side of doing sunflowers. If you're new to our channel, we're a new Christmas tree farm. We're in our second year of operation, so it's gonna be three or four more years still at least until we can have any of our own Christmas trees available for sale. And along the way, as we build this business from the ground up, we're looking for different ways to make money. So last year we opened up a tree lot and we sold Christmas trees at Christmas time. And last year we also did a spring fest and a fall fest with different games and activities and stuff for families. This year kind of had a wrench in that because we can't do many of those same or at least people are really apprehensive about doing uh, hands-on type activities because of COVID. So uh, we wanted to ramp up what we we're doing with sunflowers partially because of that but we are also thinking about doing this last year anyway. Uh, last year we did a little test plot of sunflowers just to see because we don't have a farming background and we're really just looking for things that are relatively easy to execute and um, don't require a tremendous amount of technical knowledge or um, <laughs> agriculture knowledge or crazy equipment or whatever. So we were able to do this patch here. This is about a quarter acre of sunflowers. And I had a video on this. I'll drop a little clip in here now. We planted this patch with a simple little garden cedar. Those things are like, if you buy them new, $120, $130. You can find them secondhand for like $40, $50 sometimes. I think that's what I paid was uh, 50 bucks for a secondhand cedar. And pretty easily, we we could seed a quarter acre here. In fact, I think I could do double this and still not feel you know, overwhelmed with that little hand seeder. It goes really, really quickly. So back to the point, the business side of this, we opened up as a, um, you know, you pick uh, sunflower operation here, um, invited people out to come and pick their own sunflowers. We also have the zinnias that I showed you in the intro there. And uh, both of these for us were really easy to grow. Um, we didn't do a soil test early on. I'm going to do one this year so that I'm prepared for next year. Um, but we kind of realize that these things needed fertilizer a little late in the game and we pounded some liquid fertilizer and they ended up doing okay here so anyway point being i've got you know obviously beautiful sunflowers all around me right now we were able to put these out there on our facebook page create some ads draw a lot of people out to the farm and that i achieved a couple goals for us first is yes it made a little money i'll share with you in a minute how much and second is we want to introduce people to our farm so that when we have trees ready they know that we exist they know where we are they know how to get here and they know that this is the place that they should come and get their Christmas tree because look around it's a beautiful property who wouldn't want to come out here and cut their own Christmas tree so we were open actually going back uh, previous weekend we opened up Saturday but that was actually a little early we sold pretty much every available bloom that we had before this field was wide open and we had to go out there and that was actually a mistake we had to publish that we were sold out which gave the impression that our field was wiped out uh, actually we opened up too early that's a lesson learned. We're not going to do that next time. But this past weekend, the field looked like this. It was full of flowers and people came and picked lots and lots and lots of flowers and it still looks full. So uh, no problem with, you know, giving the impression that we have plenty of flowers, even though it's only a quarter acre. And people were able to come out and take some really nice photos, even though it's a really relatively small plot. Once you crop in your photos, you don't necessarily need to see like an entire field of flowers. You have just the blooms right around you. So um, point being here, if you have a business, if you have a farm and you're looking to make a little bit of money on your farm, you don't need a massive sunflower field in order to draw people out to your property and make a little bit of money. There's a few other fields in our area. There's one that does like 50 acres of sunflowers. They only open for one weekend and do a little sunflower festival. They already did that a few weeks ago. And then there's one other field that's maybe 35, 45 minutes way something like that and they do like four or five um, acres and they do a um, a couple weekends as long as they have blooms and actually last weekend was their opening weekend so we were in competition with them and we saw comments on Facebook about people saying um, no I'm not gonna go to that one to Woods Tree Farm I'm gonna go to this one instead and that's okay uh, there's room out there for, for all of us so a couple things one how did we get our customers for this you pick sunflower patch that we have well there's a couple different ways and if any Anyone's really interested in marketing that's what I do for my day job and I consult with businesses and I build websites and all that kind of stuff and I do 
do advertising. So if you really want the, the nitty gritty, we can get together, we can talk about that, we can do some training, I can show you how. Um, but here's kind of the quick and dirty. The first and foremost is you've got to make sure your Google My Business listing is up to date. So if anyone goes to Google and searches like sunflower fields near me, you have the right information in there to, uh, to come up on the listings when people do a local search like that. The other is Facebook, and that's really the majority for us. I was able to turn on, uh, you created an event first, and then you can uh, turn your event into an ad, or you can run an ad for your event, depending on how you want to look at it. And initially, I just spent $10 a day. Uh, our sales were a little bit lower on Friday and Saturday than we wanted. So through Saturday and into Sunday morning, I think I did like $30 a day. So in total, over the three or four days, I think we spent about $60. And uh, we got plenty of people out here, especially on Sunday. It was a noticeable uptick. The other thing that I did, and uh, if you look at our Facebook page, you'll go, you'll see it. I did a video update on Saturday night to say, hey, if you're looking at our page and you're thinking about coming out to our farm, look, we have plenty of blooms available. And I did a, a live video of the actual inventory of what was available in the field. So people had no hesitation and no second guesses about if this was going to be good enough. So I think all of those things together is really what did it for us. The final thing I'll say about sunflowers and doing these you pick events is that, uh, yes, we introduced a lot of people to the farm, but a lot of people took pictures while they were out here and then they shared those pictures on Facebook and on Instagram and on TikTok and, and whatever other social media platforms people are using these days. So we ended up getting quite a bit of exposure. I'm going to share a few of the public photos here and, you know, people are out there sharing their photos, showing that they're having a good time, showing that we have a beautiful property and hopefully kind of planting seeds that this is somewhere where, you know, people want to come in the future. So next time someone sees that ad for Woods Tree Farm and sunflowers at Woods Tree Farm, they're going to say, oh yeah, my friend went there last year. I remember that because they shared it on social media. So um, getting people out to your property for different kinds of things can be really beneficial for your business long term. I truly believe that that's going to be kind of a, a cornerstone of success for us. And uh, we encourage people as they walk out, we tell them, oh, we love to see your photos. If you could share them on, you know, whatever platform you're comfortable with and tag us, we would love to see them. And we genuinely do love to see them, but we also know that when people share their photos, it's good for us too, because it's just getting us more exposure. I know I said I would uh, share how much we made, and I've done other videos where I talk about our expenses and how much we've made and all that kind of stuff. And if you really think about how much sunflower seed costs and how much fertilizer costs, the actual inputs for this are very, very, very low. And especially if you do the hand planting like we did with that garden zener, even if you pay full retail for a new one, you've got $130 in a seeder, you've got maybe $50 in fertilizer, and then you've got $40 or so in seed, and you can do a patch just as big as this. So all in, you're talking about, you know, less than $250 is all you've got in, and then of course the seeder is something that you get to use year after year after year. Well, how much did we make? I know you wanna know that. The actual number, I don't know the total yet. But here's what I can share with you. We are going to open up this uh, next weekend. So there's going to be more money uh, coming in. And I'm hoping that we can do as well this upcoming weekend as we did last weekend. If we can do better, that'd be great. I think there's plenty of blooms here available that we could potentially do better. So we'll just have to wait and see how it plays out. But so far, we've done just over $1,000 in total sales from all of the flowers and bottled water. We had ornaments and a couple uh, hats. Uh, I don't have on my Wood Street Farm hat but we had some merchandise available for sale as well so we sold a little bit of merch we sold some bottled water and we sold a lot of flowers and all in uh, just over a thousand bucks over four days so if you break it on down uh, in terms of like you know the time that me and my family spent putting all these flowers in and then watering them and then fertilizing them and then sitting out here for multiple days while people cut flowers. The effective hourly rate for us as individuals is really, really, really low. Um, so if you're doing the math in that kind of way, it's probably, you know, not a huge money maker. Now, if you uh, look at it from a pure ROI standpoint, we had less than $250 in inputs. We had a lot of time we had less than $250 outlaid and we got uh, over $1,000 back and we'll get some more this weekend. So that's pretty good ROI. You're, you're talking about um, over four to one um, ROI. I think that's perfectly acceptable in this line of business. And if we could scale this up year over year, 
to make this a multi thousand dollar you know one weekend thing or two weekend thing you know make it three four five thousand dollars then it's then it's definitely worth it um, but all we're trying to do right now here in our early years is offset some of our losses as we planned out this farm we knew that we're gonna lose money every year for the first several years until our own Christmas trees are available for sale so this is kind of just a little test and experiment for us to try to offset some losses and um, like I said if we can grow this year over year that's great but the other thing is we're introducing a lot of people to our farm who could potentially come back and buy a Christmas tree from us at Christmas time so this little tiny sale now introduce them to our beautiful property and then they come back and get upsold later on a Christmas tree is really the big game plan here with the sunflowers for us that's all for today guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like hit that thumbs up and uh, that'll be a signal to YouTube that they should share this video with other people who like similar kinds of videos and uh, if you got any questions or comments about what we do out here on our farm and how we run this event and anything else that I maybe overlooked and failed to mention out here, then leave those in the comments or send us a message. I'll be happy to answer. So that's all for today, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.